All right, folks, Tonto Bob here. To where the air comes in, this crew around there. I just stuck. So, Ben. What have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. All right, guys. So I have another strange fuel test run video for you today. Um, what I'll be running on today, hopefully anyway, is this right here. This is about 95% wood bark. Um, this is just going along the lines of it's easy to get and uh, I guess easy to dry out and stuff like that. Basically. You need fuel really quickly, you can go to any dead tree and strip off a whole bunch of dead bark and maybe, we're going to find out, maybe use it in your gasifier. I have some small sticks in here, that's just what I picked up while picking up the bark, doing the bucket anyway and broke them up along with the bark. Um, so the reason that bucket's not completely full is because I added um, the very top layer to my gasifier after last test run when the gasifier was still really hot. And I turned it into mostly charcoal down in there so I get a quick ignition. Um, so I have some, uh, basically some bark charcoal down there to ignite it with, running on bark. Uh, I was advised not to do this by Doc Decox on YouTube. Um, because I think, it be, I think it's because bark creates a lot of tar. And obviously it's a very lightweight, uh, probably low BTU fuel. But I guess today we'll find out... Um, if it burns at least, if it's even feasible, I'm going to be uh, doing a flare test out of my blower once I get it lit up. And I guess you should stick around for that, or at least I'll be trying to do a flare test. I don't know if it'll burn or not. My guess is it will. Um, but it'll go probably a lot of tar. So stick around for that. I'll cut to the f uh, attempted flare off right now. And thank you for watching. All right, guys, it's been uh, lit for about, I don't know, three minutes now. Getting good pro production of uh, smoke and maybe gas out of there. I'm gonna open the lid here and uh, show you down inside if you don't, if you can see through the smoke anyway, and see if it's burning. Before I add the fuel, yeah, I don't think you can see down in there. But I'm about to add my fuel. But first, I'll do an initial flare test on the gas coming out right now. Got my torch lit up, so here we go. Oh yeah. It is going. It is burning. I think it's still going. Yeah, there's still a flame in there. I'll get a piece of wood to show you. Uh, here we go. All right, well, I can see the wood charring. I hope you can. Yeah, you can. That wood's charring. And I really should take that uh, off of there before I burn my blower up. So. As you can see, the gas on the charcoal is burning. I'm gonna pull that off and dump the rest of my fuel in and uh, get to the uh, get to the light off of the uh, actual um, bark burning. So I'm gonna hurry up and get that, get that done before stuff gets too hot. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, it's been running for about I don't know 10 or 15 minutes now, and I'm having a similar problem to what I had with corn. Um, not the same problem, like it's not bunching up and turning into a brick, but it is um, killing the airflow. Like down here, it looks like there's a lot of gas coming out, but that's because I think that it's just a lot of um, vapor, but there is like no pressure to that. I can barely feel feel that going across my fingers. Um, I think it's just a lot of a lot of tar in that smoke or something, even though there's no tar dripping out of there, a lot of maybe water in that uh, vapor. But it's very, very weak, and my blower is turned all the way up. It's very, very weak, and um, I even have my top not sealed, and my air all the way, my air intake all the way open. Not feeling hardly anything coming out of my air intake, and when I listen to that, I only hear a little bit of suction sound in there. But um, so I guess uh, I think the problem is that um, when the bark burns and turns kind of into biochar bark. It uh, turns into a very fine powder or very small particles because it's basically like 
compressed paper almost is what that bark basically feels like so I guess I'll do a burn test right now um, just to show you if it does burn or not and oh yeah it burns for sure it burns really, it burns really well I saw that orange flame come out of there so uh, turn the blower off so I don't that to back up all right Wait for the flame sound to go out. All right, there we go. So I don't know if you saw that orange flame or not, but uh, yeah, that smoke burns pretty violently, it looked like. Um, I'll do another flare test, I guess, in a second when I am get done talking. But yeah, I think it's just breaking up into really small pieces, basically like powdering when it turns into charcoal. And I've shaken the heck out of my shaker grate. I've banged on the side of my gas fire. Well, hang on. That freed it up a little bit. That time it did. Yeah, but still, it's very, very low airflow, even in the top is open. So, I'll do one more flare off just for your amusement. And uh, I'll say that bark, unless it's like really strong, uh, really strong hard bark, um, probably isn't the best fuel, although it does burn. But I'm also using Osa George bark, which is very kind of uh, flaky and light. Show you a piece of it right here. Get out of the smoke real quick. This is very flaky and light. It's kind of like, I don't know junk I don't know this is junk very uh, but if you had some thick bark uh, that was pretty dense I bet it would work pretty well but that bark just doesn't work that well so I'll do one more flare off just to show you hang on there we go it's burning um, find another stick over here all right so I have to prove it uh, it's getting hot in my hand Oh yeah, it's getting real hot in my hand. Okay, there's the stick charring right there in the fire. Surprisingly, there's no tar dripping out of there onto my... Let me kill this real quick though. There's no tar dripping out of the end of my blower. It might just be the nature of the Osage orange bark, but I don't know. Might have to try with different barks. Uh, but it's producing some pretty some pretty volatile gas looks like an orange flame um, and it, it's, it's burning at least well I guess that that shows uh, if you're gonna use bark I would say that it works but it really depends on the type of bark you use this is Osa George bark and I would not recommend it uh, that means hedge apple bark um, maybe if you have some sort of thick bark I don't know I don't know what kind of bark is thick and dense, but that would probably work pretty well, actually. Uh, but like I said, it all depends on what, on what type of tree it's from. So with that said, I uh, hope you learned a little bit from the video. I don't recommend bark anyway. I know wood is a lot more uh, BTU dense, uh, I guess you could say. So uh, with that said, um, free to try whatever you want in your gas fire. Uh, but I don't recommend trying light, flicky, light and flicky bark to, be, uh, to begin with. So, I guess uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more.